new work in science is showing that it may be, you know, subject to experimental testing, it may be that life started as a community. So the, the basic unit of life was not necessarily the individual cell, but it was a collection of cells in a gel that formed on mineral surfaces in hot spring environments. And that, that gel, which could have contained you know, hundreds, thousands, or even millions of protocells or early life cells, was the basic unit selected for you know, by nature or by process to ignite life on Earth. And so that communal beginning makes sense because an individual cell that is learned the trick of dividing itself, of pulling in resources, doing metabolism, and then being able to make a division to make two cells. If it's on its own in the hot spring, it's subject to shear forces and pH changes and temperature, and it's likely to just get dissolved, just get disrupted. If that cell is in a matrix with other cells, then they're sharing nutrients, they're sharing molecular tools in a kind of early horizontal gene transfer. And it's the community that matters. And the likelihood of survival of one fragile early life cell is much higher in the community. But the work has more meaning beyond just a scientific theory. It may speak to the fact that we began as a, as a community and we will survive only as a community. And that the conception of competing individuals that perhaps we've been under for several hundred years uh, through, um, you know, in our economic systems, in our political systems, this concept of the survival of the fittest may not be serving us well and may not be, in fact, the true way that where the true way we began as life on the planet and that we persist as life on the planet.